Hey guys, welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins, after the hype. Now that all the buzz has sort of died down, and it's not like on everybody's mind and people sharing it on Facebook and stuff, now it's chilled out a little bit. I wanted to take a look and see, like, so is this actually good? Now that I'm not going to be jaded by the media hype and all my friends telling me about how awesome it is, I want to see for myself, like, is it actually any good? So let's take a look. Assassin's Creed starts out heavy. From the first few moments of the game, I found myself immediately immersed in a cutscene that had weight and a sense of brutality. Not often do I find myself engrossed as quickly as I did here with Origins. The opening is fantastic, beautifully delivered and right from the jump you feel powerful and engaged. One of the first things that jumped out at me was how the controls have undergone some distinct changes. At first, I found some of them a little off-putting, but in next to no time they began to feel comfortable. Group combat now feels challenging and engaging rather than just counter-kill, counter-kill again and again and again. The control system in place may become comfortable to use quickly, but it, you do get a chance to really hone in. The expression easy to use, difficult to master springs instantly to mind because of what used to be a mindless grind fest, it was mindlessly easy, it's now genuinely involving. It feels, to me at least, like a natural evolution of the combat style that I became accustomed to in the previous Assassin's Creed games. By the end of the opening combat scene I felt confident in the fight that I was in, only to shortly after be faced with group combat and actually feel as the player like, oh god I'm outnumbered. Adaptation to the new control system feels fluid, it feels dynamic, uh, but a balance does quickly get struck between your playstyle and your capability to pull it off. I must say, I am definitely impressed with the game, as I'm experiencing it. Let's just take a second though to talk about some of the new mechanics at play. Controlling Senu, your eagle, this is a very nice feature. It brings a drone or recon type flavour, and one, I have to say, fits very well. Being able to commune with your eagle from a tight spot and identify threats before poking your head around the corner is a feature I am personally very happy to have. Being able to scout ahead using Senu's eyes to mark points of interest and targets, it, it's just brilliant, honestly, it's really good. The Animus Pulse seems to have replaced Eagle Vision this time around, and what a fantastic addition it is for those of us who like to leave no loot untaken, and yes, I'm looking at you, Rach. Your mount can now follow the road ahead. I haven't yet found a dire need for this, although there have been a few times where Rach has called my attention and I've just set the mount to plod onwards. I suppose this has the potential to be just as detrimental as it could be helpful, because you set it to auto walk while you answer your door and you come back to your game half dead, but at the same time, setting it to follow to your custom waypoint while you go make a cup of coffee is kind of nice. I have also noticed that it will intelligently stop at a restricted zone and not just march you to certain doom. The game overall does somewhat maintain its point and go feel. By this, I mean you open the map, you select your destination, once there you complete the objective and rinse and repeat. Uh, this isn't a bad thing, because within the first few hours of the game I never felt as if there was nothing to do. Each time I opened the map there was another objective that I could pursue, and so while in a way this might not seem entirely organic, the side quests offer a quick track as a means to achieve a nice flowing series of objectives. I honestly feel you would be hard pressed to fit all this in any other way. The stealth feels nice, it has a smooth flow. Whilst not as in depth as a true stealther like Thief or even Splinter Cell, it still feels nice and it encourages you to track your enemies a while before leaping sort of fervorously into the fray. Many times in the previous incarnations of Assassin's Creed franchise, I found myself getting kind of bored of tactics and simply just hurtling myself towards my objective, safe in the knowledge that realistically nothing's gonna kill me. Here however, the punishment for recklessness can be swift and decisive. If you fail to respect the situation you are in, you could very well find yourself on the wrong end of a loading screen. The inventory system is clean and the resource based upgrades are easy to manage. While at first glance I found myself confused by what it all means, within a few hours of gameplay it was easy and intuitive to use. The story, oh, the story is visceral man, brutal and engaging. The cutscenes just carry a sense of weight with them, they're, they're cinematic but they connect with you as the player in a meaningful way. The scenes in which something happens to trigger an emotional response are very well written and they have the potential to clobber you right in the fields. Others that are more action or violence focused have a heft to them, you know? The sounds, the visuals, they make you really feel what it is you're seeing. In terms of the map, that is huge. There are no loading screens as you go, other than the ones of course that you would expect like cutscenes, story progression, animus switching, etc. But while you're actually playing in the game there's no loading screens, you can freely enter any zone that you like, even if it is far above your level, and yes you will get hammered in the face unless you employ a great deal of stealth, but it gives you like an epic sense of freedom, you know? 
there is minimal hand-holding, which, to be honest, I'm very happy about. Fast travel is still a thing, which you can't really not like, because if you can't be asked to run for ages, you don't have to. And if you feel as though it breaks my emotion and I want to RP walk all the way through the desert, well, then you totally can. You just don't use the fast travel. I have no idea if anyone would actually do that, but hey, the option is yours. All in all, then, what do I think of Assassin's Creed Origins? Well, I quite like it, actually. It doesn't stoke the fire the way the original did, but then this is not the original. The Assassin's Creed games were getting seriously stale, a near yearly rinse and repeat of the exact same game just with a different location pasted over the old one. This feels different, to me anyway, this feels fun again. Knowing what I know now, would I buy this game at full retail price brand new? I think I probably would, yeah, it is a genuinely decent game. If you already own it and you've already played it, then to you I say, good innit? And if you haven't played it before or if you don't own it, then I would say to you, you probably should give it a go. Unless you have a strong dislike for the genre, or Assassin's Creed games in general, then this should definitely be on your must-play list. Anyway, that's all I have to say about all that. So, after the hype, my score for Assassin's Creed Origins is a solid 8 out of 10. There are a few niggles, but nothing that stops my enjoyment of it at any time. I am honestly loving the game, and I will happily continue playing it until it's 100% complete. Right, that's it from me guys, I'm done. So thank you very much for watching, and we hope to catch you in the next one.